Ohio Task Force One is deploying a second water rescue team this morning to North Carolina because of just how huge this thing is. Preparations are underway right now to send supplies for the disaster cleanup. Not on your side's Allie Kramer is live at Matthew 25 Ministries to continue our coverage. Allie. And Julie, exactly. Matthew 25 is interesting because they don't actually head out to these disaster areas or to the towns that are being hardest hit by Hurricane Florence until after the hurricane actually hits because they're there to rebuild those communities and to bring those supplies to them uh, to start to recover. But as you mentioned, and it is interesting and you saw last yesterday morning here on Good Morning Tri-State, Ohio Task Force One sent uh, its first water rescue team uh, down to Kinston, North Carolina and we've learned that they are now sending that second team, 16 people, part of that water rescue team that's leaving out of Kettering up near Dayton early this morning, and they're actually being deployed to Raleigh, North Carolina. Of course, they are getting there before the storm actually hits, or at least trying to. We've been talking with local agencies, including Matthew 25, who will be providing personal care items, cleaning supplies, first aid equipment. They bring things that you might not think about, like tarps and generators and air blowers to dry things out. The basic things that are needed immediately after the hurricane. Now their assistance is actually best utilized after the hurricane hits because they have a network of nonprofits that can help distribute these supplies. The supplies are being loaded into semis now and then those semis they roll out as soon as they get the call. When we show up they're just shocked that we would drive all the way from Cincinnati. They're just shocked that they need help for one because you never think it's going to happen to you and then the other thing is that they're just so grateful because you know, the supplies are very neat and all those, but we're bringing hope down to those people and it really uplifts them over uh, during their time of need. Now, of course, those supplies are generally donated from you right here in the tri-state. Of course, Matthew 25 accepting things, uh, cleaning supplies, as I mentioned, cases of water, and they'll also be taking the Tide loads of Hope van. They are loaded up already, ready to help people with some of the basic necessities. Just having clean clothes can be so important and can really lift spirits down there. We're going to post a link on WCPO.com with how you can help locally as well.